And with Tulin van der Mava, you've got a lot of plans to promote South Africa in the, among the Irish travel trade over the coming months, Tulin. Tell me about them. Well, first of all, we, um, we're going to focus heavily on the travel agents. So from a training perspective, we um, will take travel agents out on fam trips for in the first year, where they'll go, apart from training that we'll do in office, um, they'll be able to go out to South Africa to do the, the main Cape Town Winelands Garden route. How do you qualify for a farm trip? Um, it's, it's basically where you would be able to um, accept us into your office for the first round of training, um, do our online training course and you know do some booking to South Africa or just uh, some incentive travel etc. And then we will um, pinpoint that and contact us at any point if you need anything from us. Um, and then we will randomly select for the first round of trips. Um, the agents will therefore then go out and um, experience South Africa, do a bit of training. And the first country. round of trips, it tends to be the things that work best in the Irish market. Yes, yes, which for us is the Cape Town, Winelands, um, Garden Route and then a safari. Um, so normally a two week, it's a two week itinerary but we won't, I don't think we can spare you out of the office for two weeks. <laughs> um, and then we will, we will bring you back, we will continue training with you, help you with bookings etc. We'll, we'll be there as your support with collateral, with creative etc. And then in year two we will um, select the agents that, that went out in year one and they'll go to a different area of South Africa. Um, so your second time visitor area, second and third time visitor. Um, and then in, again come back and we'll continue working with you as an agent even if you move off to another agency. Um, we will continue working with you, developing you to become a specialist and then in year three we will take you out to a third area. So what's involved in these three fam trips? So your first year fam trip will be our key area, Cape Town Winelands Garden Route and then a safari um, and we'll do one full day training whilst we are out there. Your second year trip will be um, the whole KwaZulu Natal area and then we'll throw in you know, either in Pumalanga or Limpopo. And then the third year will be Gauteng, which is round right about Johannesburg, going to visit the Cradle of Humankind, where we all originate from. Um, and then also going up to the Kruger or Limpopo and Pumalanga, whichever one we didn't do in year two. Um, and then, you know, we'll, we'll really look at, at where you are selling um, significantly, if, a, if an area is specifically selling well for you, we, we will consider taking you out and really exploring that area in depth for you from a product perspective and do training on that. So we are at your beck and call, we are there to help you understand the product and the destination and we call on you to ask us for anything that we can possibly give you. We then therefore get a feel of South Africa as a whole, how to sell it and where to send um, the various visitors and we'll continue to work with you over the three years and furthermore. Um, we'll have point of sales material, we'll have a lot of creative, a lot of content for you to use, we'll have an open source URL that you can um, download whatever you need um, to share with your your consumers and get and customers um, and then we are at your beck and call for training we'll have uh, training in Ireland um, in all the little pockets of Ireland so if you need training in your offices you need to call us and we'll come out and do that we'll have a dedicated trainer on the road um, that will be able to do that so a heavy focus on the agents um, for the next coming years definitely and accompanying that you're going to be making a lot of noise in the consumer market a new co creative campaign coming up we've got um, the wow campaign that is coming out as well so that's out at the moment so um, we will also be focusing heavily on just less less words and more imagery um, within the market so if people are walking past your shops and they see our images in their mind they're going wow and then when they actually get to the destination even more so they're going wow um, so we, we've we've got that we're going to be um, joining the the embassy at holiday world show in january where we will be quite vocal as well um, and then we're going to look at at the consumer side where we will be you know talking to journalists we'll try and working on radio again um, so we're going to be making a lot of noise in this market particularly um, as well as our what market. would you like the travel agents of ireland to do for you um, we, we really want you to, if, to work with us if you, um, you know, your consumers are asking questions. We are there for you um, in the office to answer if you don't, don't have the confidence. We want to help you build your confidence in setting the destination. Um, we want you also to look at you know, not only the, the key areas we want, to, we want to look at selling more of South Africa. So yes, everybody wants to go to Cape Town. But you know, there's more to South Africa than the Kruger Park. There's there's the North, you know, the Madikwe area. Think out the box about South Africa. Think something different. Think adventure. Um, for us, adventure is not jumping off a bridge with a rope tied to your legs. It's 
it's having wine in a completely different area and that is one of our core messages and remember obviously the ranch the hero is quite significant so value for money is a key selling point so use those messages um, what we're going to focus on is value for money and adventure and just the wow factor that is South Africa. Are there any particular regions that are not performing in the Irish market which to your mind should be doing better? Um, the, the, the sort of the northern part, your uh, Limpopo, Gauteng, and your, your northern Cape, which is quite a significant uh, niche market because it's, it's quite arid and quite big, um, but it's beautiful with flowers, so obviously September, October. Um, that kind of area we're looking at a little bit more from this market, but we're very happy with what we're getting so far. We've had good growth from Ireland, so thank you very much for that, and we expect and hope to work with you to have even better growth for this year.